Hey, what's going on, Loud House Nation? I'm here bringing you a quick tutorial since I've got a couple of requests from the last uh, GF video on how you can add your own assets, voice banks, and customize it within Sound Game 2. Let's go ahead and get right on to it. First things first, and link will, all these links will be in the description of the video. You want to go ahead and download Sound Game 2. So once you go into the download page, you want to choose which one is best for your uh, PC build, either the 32 bit or the 64 bit. Either one, download that. I won't need to since I already have it um, downloaded on my end. Next one will be the girlfriend voice pack. Do note that this will not have the tutorial song and it will not have the monster song. For the monster song, you'll have to find somebody to make a cover for that one. As the tutorial that I used in one of my showcases, there's another link to either the uh, playable GF or the new asset video. Please check those out. And last but not least, Whichever playable GF asset you prefer, the newer one that B, uh, Red Style put out, this one here. And again, go with this download, not this one. This one just has the FLA, so if you're good at making covers or someone you want to have make a cover for you, this is what you want to download. Otherwise, stick with just this. Alright, and after you have all those downloaded, make sure you open up each one. You've got the GF voice pack here, which also comes with like... um. If you know how to customize the new grounds one, you can put the week seven voice banks in there versus witty versus tricky. And then right here is just a vanilla thing. And then there's older versions of stuff. But mainly just stick with this photo. It's what we're going to be doing today. Then you have the playable GF asset itself. And last but not least, you want to open up Psych Engine as well. So to keep this. A little bit organized and neat here. We're going to use the ones that will be our drag and drops on this side and the ones that were uh, that were drag and dropping to on the left hand side. So open up your psych engine and once you have it open up like this in Rimrar 7 zip, whichever one you prefer, go ahead and click and drag this onto your desktop. Wait for it to do the extraction and you'll see it pop up right here. We can go ahead and close this for now. And let's go ahead and open this up. So it looks like a lot, and it is going to be pretty tedious, but just stick with me. I'll walk you through the process. So first thing we're going to do here is you'll go into mods. Open up this folder, and you want to open up images. Go to characters. Now, it'll walk you through the process, and Shadow Mario and the crew, we're pretty nice to leave these um, text files here. So if you're ever unsure, you can open it up and it'll give you instructions. You'll put like the character image and XML files here. So going here to this mods, you'll go into images, characters, and you see these two here, just like it said. Go ahead and copy these two and just literally drag and drop right there. And you've got your playable GF asset and the XML file. Next, we'll go out of here. And then here's the character folder. You'll notice it says a playable GFJ song. That's what's going to be able to have the character like moving around and all that stuff. So go out of here. We're going to go back one more time. And we're going to go into characters. And then as it says here, this will be like where your JSON files go. So take this and literally just drag and drop. Simple as that. Okay. Now we can go ahead and minimize that one. Next one we're going to be worried about is the focal banks. This one's going to be a, a kind of tricky and tedious part. So I'll show you a few and then we'll skip forward so I can show you how you can customize it in Psych Engine all this stuff. So first we'll back out and we're going to go to the Assets folder. And we're going to go down to, I believe, Songs. And yep, so you see these two files? It says it ints dot o and a voices dot o all of these are going to be what um controls the songs this one here of course is short for instrumental which plays like the little background and stuff voices here is going to be like the beeps and bops for both the characters what we're going to do here is you're going to take all of this here and drag and drop in this appropriate folder so for example blam you're going to look down for blam yeah blam voices and then you want to look for the blam instrumental in here as well well i mean not not the bland instrument i'll take the back sorry just the voices is what we're worried about so you're going to take this one drag and drop here and all you have to do is we'll just delete this one 
Because it just reads it as a voice file. If you leave it as it is here, it won't read it in the game. So just go here, rename it, click here, and oh, rename that to voices, and done. And there you go. And if you do that right, once you load up the actual thing, it'll read it as the vocal track that it needs to, and it will be replaced with this. So yeah, it's quite a tedious process, kind of like literally just drag and drop, delete the old one, rename it, so on and so forth. Like I said, I'll fast forward so you don't have to sit through all this, but um, yeah, that's essentially what we're doing here. So I'll do just one more for you, just in case, because I know the mic can kind of chop out at times. You drag your new one in, delete the old one, go up here, right click, rename, click and then delete oh sorry delete to uh down to where it says just voices and click again and there you go Okay, all right, if you've done everything correctly, everything should be all replaced, all that you brought over here, you drag and drop, and you rename them to the same files here. Remember, it has to say voices and instrumental. If it does not, the Psych 5 will not, and I repeat, not read it. So please make sure when you drag and drop, you don't just drag and drop, but make sure you change it back to, you. well, you'll, you'll delete the old one and then put it to where it says instrumental and voices. So if that's correct, we can go ahead and get rid of that window. And now there's still one final step to put the whole thing together here. So next, we're going to open up Psych Engine, run the game kind of like normal. Sorry, it goes a little bit slow sometimes on my end. Apologies to the audience. Let's go to free play and we're gonna go to any old song. So let's go into like a uh, fresh music. Now here's one Three, little nifty two, thing we're gonna one, do. Go. So first hit the eight, like the num key eight, and we're gonna go into what is called the character editor, where you can replace like uh, the opponent characters, playable characters, all that fun stuff. And all we're gonna do is we're going to make our playable GF an actual playable character. So what you want to do is that JSON file you had earlier, right here, playable GF V2. You just click this and set as playable character. So what you do here is there's two little tabs here, one for animations and one for the character. At times, if you're making your own custom character as such, you can go in here, have their icon file in there, that's a little separate tutorial I can show y'all later, but I have their icon in here and they can have it get the icon color so it has the same as the health bar. Uh, set their position, if you want to like make them go up a bit more, go like left or right, up or down, whatever you prefer. But I typically kind of just like leave it all at the defaults, don't change too much. Um, biggest thing we're going to worry about over here is the aisle. Uh, animations just to make sure they all fit so what I do is I just go in here click one add an update go to the next one click add an update add an update you just do all of this to make sure it's updated into the character JSON I mean it should work but it's always good to just make certain versus just assume Now the only thing I'm not too certain on is how to get like the depth to show. I'll need to look into that and I can update y'all about that. But yeah, she does have like dodge animations, death animations and such. Just with this one, I'll have to look into it a bit more. But here you go. 
Once you've got that done, all you have to do is just save the character. And the easiest way to do this is where it has it as Psych Engine Assets Characters. Although we already put it in the mod folder, I just do this for my safekeeping. Save the character and put it into the main one. After you do that, we're just going to exit out. Three, two, one, go! And last thing we're going to do is press number 7. Once you go to number 7, here you are in the chart mode. So, all we're really going to do here is just hit song. And as you see here, we've got these little drop downs. First one you're going to select is down here. And if you imported the character correctly, you should see it right here at the bottom of label GFB2. Click this. And all we have to do is just exit out. Oh, hold on, wrong thing. Sorry, sorry. Not exit out. Uh, hit enter. You hit enter, and here you go. So as you see, she's dancing, got her vocals, so it's working just as it should. Now for the final touch I'm going to show you all is how to make sure this is saved because we did all this hard work but as you know when you go into the chart editor and do like a minor change that's only temporary so how do we make it stay well i'll show you hit number seven again and there's one last thing we're going to do in the song tab once you have it swapped over like this hit the save button and you'll see it brings up a fresh json file so go here to assets click this you're going to go down to music. Uh, no, wrong tab. Sorry, sorry. So go to assets, go to data, and then it should bring up this one here. And look at this, all these JSON files. So since we're in dad's week, we're going to go to the fresh tab. And all right here. Now, it's very important. You don't want to get this step wrong. Note the difficulty that you're on. So for us, we're playing on hard mode. So all you have to do is just click on this one. Hit save, it'll overwrite it, and then just go back to play it like normal. Three, two. And check this out. Once we add it to the menu and click this one, now Three, it loads two, up like one, so. Go. Now, this is rather tedious, so unless, of course, you're patient enough, kind of like me, where you will go in there uh, and change the difficulty each time. Oh, uh, then I'd say stick with the one that you know you're going to play the most. Otherwise, you just, again, do the same thing. Go in here, press number seven, go to the song tab, hit the save. Well, first, change it first to the character or characters you want on here. Of course, you can always change who's sitting at the girlfriend position. But have it set here, hit the save. And again, same thing. So while normal this time, you're going to just hover over to fresh JSON, which let me just explain this real quick. If it says fresh, that's easy. Then of course, it's easy mode. If it's ever the normal, it's going to be just a regular file name itself. So fresh JSON. And then if it's hard, fresh dash hard. And of course, vice versa for other mods that have like different modes and such. But fresh JSON, click on it, hit save. It'll ask if you want to replace it. Hit yes. Go out. And voila. Three, two, one, and that's about it. So if you ever want to go ahead and do this for any of all of your songs, it'll save it in here. And that's just all you need to do. If you have any other questions, please make sure to leave it down in the comments below and leave a like if I was able to help you out. Thank you so much, everybody, and have a great night. I'll catch you in the next video.